I look out and there's something coming across the lake towards me. Come to somewhere a little bit different today. Um, come to Rutland Water. Been here a few times. Um, never really had massive success here. I always find things are quite a long way away, but somebody give me a tip on a couple of hides worth coming and have a look at. Um, might see a few things. And actually, coming in this first hide this morning, over the far left, uh, we had a marsh harrier um, hovering and just landed in the top of the trees over there. A bit, a bit too far away for anything really, but. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good thing to see. Um, got a great white e over there, swans, ducks, um, a lot of gulls around. Uh, yeah, but uh, really no preconceived ideas. Uh, it's a nice day, it's quite, it's quite mild for this time of year. Um, the sun's a bit bright, I mean I've come into this hide first and I think I'm going to have to move from this hide till later because the sun's coming straight in the front of this hide. I'm just tucking out of the way of a minute. I was hoping for a bit of cloud cover while I'm in this hide, um, but it seems quite nice. And today it's supposed to be sort of sunny, showery, so a bit mixed. So we'll just see how we go. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to see what we can see. Um, and hopefully bring you a few photos along the way. Just got a curlew down here at the moment, uh, just feeding, feeding in the mud, picking up all sorts of things. So we've got some, I think we've got some nice images of that. So uh, that's quite nice. There's only one of them I can see around. I uh, don't even know where it came from. Just sort of started wandering across the front of the hide and then ended up down the side of the hide. So uh, so yeah, so that's good. The light is. I mean, the light keeps changing. Really difficult. You can probably see it on my face. It's one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's cloudy. It's, it's supposed to blow up into a bit of a storm today. It's supposed to get really windy, so I can actually feel it starting to get that way a little bit now. So what it's going to be like later in the day, I don't know. But uh, So we're going to make the most of it at the moment. But yeah, the curlew's just wandering down to the, to the shore front again now. So see if we can get a few more images.
think I'm going to move around to one of the other hides. Um, got the curler out here, and so we've got the ducks. I think there's a couple of dunlin out there, uh, oyster catcher. Um, so yeah, I think we've pretty well seen most of the stuff here at the moment. Uh, obviously, you know things will fly in now as the day goes on, but the wind's blowing into this hide, so it's getting a bit rough in here to be honest. Um, you can actually see across the water. It's really it looks misty, but I think the wind's actually starting to lift the water up a little bit. So I think we're going to have a move, have a turn around. We just had a little wren. Uh, there's some little holes in the in the flaps in the hide um, where you put your fingers in to lift it up, and the little wren just popped through there, just come and joined us in the hide for a little while, and then disappeared back outside again. That was quite nice. Um, so let's go and see what else we can find. So I just dropped into this next hide here. To be honest, I wasn't going to stop in this hide. I was going to carry on to one of the others. Um, but lovely little mud flat out here for stuff. Not, not much on here. There's a couple of grey wagtails out here. But what we have just been treated to is a really great display from uh, Kestrel. Um, so yeah, Kestrel's just been hovering right above us. So we've got some, I think we've got some nice shots of that. And then, oh, the Kestrel's actually just back out there now. And then after the kestrel, we actually had a red kite come over. So the red kite was sort of circling, hovering around as well. So yeah, and, and the kestrel's come in pretty close. So I'm just going to see if I can get some more images of that as well now. Well, both the kettle and the red cart have moved off now, so I think, uh, yeah, I think we carry on doing what we're going to do and uh, go and catch up with one of the other hides down there. Um, there's some footprints across here, across the across the mud. I'm not sure what it is. It's, it's, I'm guessing it's going to be probably monk jack deer or something like that. Um, but I've been told there's otters around the area as well, so can't tell what they are from here. But um, yeah, just just going across the mud across towards the trees the other side so yeah not sure what that is but uh, yeah let's go and have a look at one of the other hides I just walked into this other hide and I'm sitting down looking outside there's some uh, little grebes some ducks out here swan and there's a nice little kingfisher perch so I'm sort of putting the camera on the kingfisher perch just trying to get the exposure right because thinking well maybe the kingfish will be along there and I've just sat down not really settled myself I look out and there's something coming across the lake towards me and I'm thinking you know what it is you, you look at it and you think oh, what is that and you spend so much time thinking about what is it before you pick the camera up. And then I realised, as a duck started to scarper, I picked the camera up, fired off a few shots, and it was a bitten coming straight across towards me. Now, I've not seen many bittens. I've, I think I've seen one in the past. That one came right across to me. Um, I don't think I've got the greatest exposure settings because I was sort of set up for the Kingfisher perch which was a little bit in the dark so I was overexposing a little bit but yeah I think we've got some images of it but it was so quick it just as I say it just flew across a few feet off the water and then me thinking what's that that looks big and then suddenly realized I needed to get the camera and fire some shots off so yeah that's a good start coming in here and it's it's gone down in the reeds down to the side over the side of here somewhere 
So um, hmm, I'm just going to keep my eye out just in case it works its way across the reeds, through the reeds, around the side, uh, in case we actually see it coming, coming out of the reeds down here somewhere. But yeah, fantastic. Just need a kingfisher now. We're, we're, we're sorted for the day. just had sight of the kingfisher uh, came from around the corner around there across went to land in that tree so I think it saw a fish and just dived straight down and I think took the fish and then shot straight back again around the corner behind the reeds uh, I didn't see it till it was too late really it was I heard it coming but couldn't spot it and then it didn't land on any of the perches where I really wanted it to land so uh, but that's good that it's actually around so at least we know there's a kingfisher around so um, yeah, just need to get some images now. I was too slow. Just had a great little show from a, a flock of teal, I think they were, um, just scooting along the top of the lake. They eventually dropped down into the lake, but uh, yeah, the, as they were turning, they were really lighting up in the light, really looked good. So that was quite nice to watch. And then I've just been watching a couple of little grebes down here fishing. One of them caught a fish, but I couldn't get a decent shot because it was behind the reeds. Um, so yeah, that was that was nice as well. We've seen the kingfisher go past a couple of times, but just doesn't want to stop anywhere near. Uh, but I love this island. I, it's, there's, there's so much around here. I mean, it's so so varied the habitat. You can see so many things. So I'm tempted just to sit here for a, a bit longer yet and uh, and see what turns up really. Rain started to move in a bit now. Um, I mean, to be fair, they did say sunshine and showers. We've had a fair bit of sunshine so far, but uh, having a good old shower now, um, it's gone quite dark out there. But uh, yeah, tucked away in the hide. What better place to be, really? <laughs> well, we're pretty well pinned down in the hide at the moment. The rain keeps coming. The sun's come out again now, but the rainstorms keep coming, and they're quite heavy when they come down. So. Um, but what a better, what a great place to be pinned down, you know. What a better place to be. Uh, we've got a, a little egret out here. Um, wasn't doing a great deal. I think it was just hunkering down from the rain, really. And then we had a, a great white uh, trying to fish out there as well. Nice rainbow appearing again. Um, so yeah, so just been watching whatever's around through the rain, really. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to move on somewhere, but I just want to make sure it's not going to keep coming at me at the moment. Uh, I think there's some passing storms and clouds going through but uh, hopefully they might clear and uh, we can make a bit of a run for it to the next hide.
So I was just packing up, ready to move on, and Kingfisher flew across. Tried to get a shot of it, it flew, but it was too quick. But then it did land in the tree, uh, just over the other side. It's a little bit distant. So it took a couple of shots and a little bit of video, um, but it is a bit distant. Um, and then it dropped down into the water and shot around the corner. Um, I don't know whether it caught something or not, but... Uh, well, I was just thinking about moving on, as I say, so... When that happens, you just don't know what to do again. It's not coming to the perch where we are here, so... I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move on. It seems to be coming from around that way somewhere. Um, and there are some more hides over that way, so... I think maybe we'll have a change. We'll go and sit in one of the hides and just see if... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll turn up there. So let's go and have a look. So just before we're leaving the other hide, the kingfisher came back again. Still wouldn't come onto the perch we were watching. Um, but then a couple of people came in, um, so it was a little bit more noisy, so it wasn't, wasn't very easy. But it did, it did go back into the tree and then did a quick flyby. Now, I took some shots as it flew past. I, I don't think I had a high enough shutter speed, so um, it's unlikely you're going to get any decent images. But if there are, obviously you're going to see them. Um, but yeah, nice to see. So I've, I've just come across now to the next hide, to where I think the kingfish is going around. And as I've, as I've got in here, the, the kingfish has just come on the reeds over here, but really dark area, so it was really difficult to get any shots. Um, and it's not, I can't see anywhere here where it's actually going to get close. I just had to cut my uh, last piece of camera a little bit short because as I was talking somebody came in the hide so it was a bit awkward. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to finish the video here. Um, it's been a cracking day. I mean we've seen kingfishers, maybe got a couple of shots. The bitten has to be the highlight of the day for me. I've only ever seen a bitten once before and never really got any decent shots. So I'm really, fingers crossed, that I've got some good images of the bitten. Um, <clears throat> But it's a great place, it is. I mean, I've, I've walked around this place before. I've been to a few of the highs, never really been that, uh, that, well, I never thought it was that great, to be honest. Um, but some of the highs I've just been into that I've never been into before, they are cracking highs. And there's some good stuff out there. We saw the curlew first thing this morning. Um, so I'm gonna try and make a run for it before the rain comes in again, because it looks like it's gonna. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, and thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.